These are the top five questions and answers about 5G. 5G is the next big thing, but people wanna know more about it. Today, we're gonna to do something a little different. We're gonna chat with CNET's Roger Cheng to get some answers. Coming in at number five, is 5G safe? Well, I'd love to give you a conclusive answer. There just isn't enough proof either way, but I will say if you are nervous about 4G signals, 5G is not gonna make you feel any better. Coming in at number four, will unlimited 5G be a real thing? Because 5G is being positioned as a competitor to home broadband. So 5G definitely adds a lot of capacity, and I imagine for those home broadband services, they'll probably be unlimited for a good long while. Uh, I talked to a bunch of carriers, and they think that throttling might actually go away down the line, but we'll have to see. Number three, will 5G be a battery drain? Absolutely. I think uh, 5G means another radio, which means more power, but you're seeing bigger phones with bigger batteries, which means chances are your experience won't change too much. It'll last just as long, but your phone will be a bit bulkier. And number two, will 5G be more expensive than 4G? 5G phones will definitely be more expensive. You're already seeing maybe a two or $300 premium on that. Question still out whether or not the services will be more expensive. None of the carriers are talking about it. T-Mobile is, to its credit, the only one to commit to freezing prices for the next few years, but that's really only because they want to get that deal with Sprint done. And number one, when is 5G going to be widely available and how did AT&T already get 5G? Uh, those are two different questions. 5G will be broadly available second half to early 2020 for everyone. In terms of AT&T though, their 5G E for one isn't real 5G. They do actually have 5G service in 12 markets, but they're probably a few blocks wide in each city and no consumer actually has them. As a quick aside, how long before rural areas get 5G? That's a much bigger question. I know T-Mobile has promised that if they merge with Sprint, they'll have the ability to put 5G all over the country. But putting up networks in those rural areas is really difficult. And so I imagine that's still gonna be a challenge. If 4G and 3G wasn't around for rural areas, it's tough to see how 5G will get there too. Thanks to Roger for all that information. If you've got more questions, let us know. I'm Aya Zaktar, and I'll see you online.